Hey there, it's the RV guys again. I want to welcome you to our new, to us, 2021 Alpha Wolf. Um, on this tour, you are gonna see a lot of similarities to the wolf pup that we had, um, and a lot of different things. So I can't wait to share and, you know, like, share, subscribe. I am so happy for all the new subscribers and everybody that's liking the videos and watching. So, you know, this is all for you. This is a 2021 Alpha Wolf 26 DBHL. So walking in the front door, the first thing you see is the two doors to the right side. Those go into the bedroom, one for each side of the bed. In the center here, we have a fireplace, which is standard. We do have our Alexa, which is not. She is built into the system and connected directly to our stereo, which is connected to the speakers that are everywhere, including all the rooms. Our TV is a 40 inch TV. It is mounted on a swivel arm. So it comes out and goes away from the wall. We do also have LEDs behind it. Right above it, you'll see this is where it plugs in. We also have our plug for our doorbell, just like we had in our wolf pup. Right next to it, you'll see the regular plugs and we have an extra on off button. This on off button is for the speakers inside the bedroom to turn them off and on just in case somebody wants to go to sleep and does not want to hear the music that's playing in the rest of the trailer. Going on, we have our slide out that has our living room and dining room. As you see, we have new LED lights going around the slide out. The original ones are still here. They're just not very good. So I don't really like them. They're just blue. So I did leave them and install the other LED lights right next to them. So I can turn them on and off as pleased. We do have the regular sofa, which is very common in most uh, Cherokee products. It is a fold out sofa. It does not really fold out into a bed, but we really make it work. Originally, I wanted to take it out and install something different, but the quantity of storage you have under this bed uh, under the sofa, excuse me, is absolutely something that I cannot um, take away. We did get this ottoman, which I think matches really nicely. The nice thing about it, it's the correct height for the sofa. Even though the sofa is a little bit, has a little bit of a lip and height, it's actually the same height as you see. If I turn it into a bed, which is very easy, it comes straight out and that kind of adds to the bed length, which makes it very convenient. Besides that, it's also good for another bench for the dining table. It adds a lot more seating and also practically the same height. The dining room table has been moved out. So originally, it was about two inches in that way, and it's been moved out to make the seating and back a lot more comfortable. I do really like these shades that you have in here. So they stayed and everything with it. All our lights are smart lights, just like we had in our wolf pup. We do have some Amazon art. Going over here towards the kitchen, you can see that we have the original LED lights. It's only blue and it goes around the countertops, it's underneath, and it goes around and it finishes here at the sink. You have a nice garden sink. The big difference that I saw between the black label I used to have and this unit is that our black label was hard. It wasn't quartz or anything, but it was a, a hard uh, countertop where this is just kind of a laminate countertop. So it needs to be cocked every year, at least once a year, if not more times than that, because it will separate at the edge and start puffing up. I did take the lid that was for the sink and I made a table. This is for our drying rack. I'll show you in a second what it looks like. This is what it looks like when our drying rack is out. It just gives us a lot more counter space when it's not in use. As you saw, the drying rack just goes straight into the sink. Fits perfectly. We also do have this little basket from Ikea, which is really nice for trash. We put a lot of, you know, sink trash in it and then we just toss it out. Going to 
our coffee area and tea. We have a little coffee pod holder from Amazon. We have a coffee machine for an espresso pods. We have two wine glasses on a little wine rack that's very, very sturdy. So it doesn't shake around when we drive or anything. I did install a rack for keys. It does look like I'm a janitor. I have so many keys, but nothing I can do about that. Up here, if you have a wolf pup and you're asking yourself, why do I need a button? So again, this is a 30 amp trailer. We have one AC. We have a fireplace, which also is a heater. So to not pop any breakers, we have a button that's kind of a safety feature to either turn off the microwave or turn off the fireplace. Up there you have your gauge that will tell you your charging. We do have the regular panel that's kind of the 2021 and earlier panel. I think from 2022 they do have a little nicer of a panel, but that's completely fine. We also have here added plugs. So I don't have to take the plugs and constantly, this is the kitchen plug, it's up here. So that's really convenient having it off to the side. We have our ice maker and additional mini fridge on the outside kitchen area. We also here have a little thermostat, same thing as in the other rooms. Going towards our kitchen area, the big thing you do see is our backsplash. Yes, that is new backsplash that I installed. It is kind of the same vinyl tiles like we had in our Wolf Pup, just a different design, something that more matches this trailer, I think. Um, we do have a cutting board, which comes with it. Um, this is comes with the unit. I did install magnets on the back of it to hold knives. Going up, you have the regular range hood and then microwave, and then we have our thermostats, freezer and refrigerator. The freezer's not really 24, don't worry. It's just, I just put back in the sensor, so it's coming down to its temperature. We do have our stove in our stove, um, stove top and oven. I did replace the knobs to the upgraded metal knobs that you have on just a different model. The ones that come with this model the writing, just like on the Wolf Pup, it gets erased. And here it doesn't because it's placed in, a, in an area that does not get erased and it just doesn't. It's made, these are made out of metal, not out of plastic. So it's very easy, you just take them out and put the new ones back in. Um, again, our garden sink, absolutely beautiful. We do have a little hanger here. Right here, we do have our reverse osmosis water system. It is a one drop system, I'll have it in the link. I absolutely love it. You kind of turn it on and it tells you also how much you used it, how many uh, TV, TDSs they're taking out of the water. Um, so that's pretty nice and it, yeah, it's, it's really nice as a drinking system, especially for us going from different places. It's always good to have. The hole was already here. So, you know, we don't need the soap dispenser because anyways, we use our own soap dispenser. We have this little um, kind of shelf for the soap and the sponge. It has suction cups and just stays there. We do have a strainer, obviously. A lot of people don't, so that's great to have. Um, what else? The refrigerator is the same refrigerator as, if, as the one that we had in our Wolf Pup, exactly the same. Bigger furnace, obviously. We do have a full pantry. I'm not gonna show it right now because it is a little cluttered. Uh, we do have really nice shelves that I installed that come out. Um, we do have our thermostat, again, for our one Coleman unit. It is a ducted unit. You have kind of the ducting in different areas. And we also have a dump straight out. Right now it's on, it's not very loud. What else can I show you guys? We do have the original stereo system that's going on. Um, we do have very, very, very big drawers. The drawer goes from here all the way to the edge. It's very big. I'm not gonna show you again due to clutter. Uh, we have, we live in this full time, so we have all our medicines and everything in this one. And then we have all our kitchen kind of appliances and everything we need in this one. And in the back, we do have a spare mattress that we took off of the bunks. Um, just to have in case we want to turn this into a bed for guests or for us when guests come over and we give them our bed We can put another mattress on it. 
but as you see, the bench is a really nice fit for the sofa and for the dinette area. Um, what else can I show you guys? There's nice drawers that you don't have in the Wolf Pup, which are very, very nice. Up on top, we do have um, just regular. I did add another shelf in between so we can have more storage. We have a watchdog. That was one of the first things I installed is a hardwired watchdog. It is installed all the way in the back under the office in the cabinet. Uh, we don't really need to see it because again, I put the sticker here and it kind of has the QR code scanner. So it's, there's nothing really that you need to see when it comes to the watchdog. And that's kind of it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. If you have any questions, I'm gonna try to go into detail for areas different areas and different things, but please, you know, like, share, subscribe, and I'll be here to answer all your questions. Have a great day.